Hi. I get a lot of calls from people and they uh, ask me a lot of questions about holsters and how to build a holster. And one of the most common questions I get is how in the world do you come up with a pattern for a holster if it's not something they sell a pre-made pattern for at the leather store? So today I'm going to show you kind of how I build a pattern when I have something specific in mind. The way I do this isn't necessarily the right way. I'm not telling you it's the way that master leathersmiths do it, but it works for me. I just want to go through it with you. Maybe it'll help you get started. From there, you'll probably come up with your own ideas. Um, I got a call from a guy who wants a uh, basically a range holster for a uh, Glock, in this case Glock 17. I have a uh, plastic gun that I use for molding and, and uh, holster making just because it seems a little safer and a and, uh, little, little less likelihood of damaging a gun than actually using the gun. Uh, this is a um, holster that I made a while back for a small gun. It's actually for a Taurus 709 Slim uh, belt loop on the back. It's a, a pattern I made of my own. It's not copied from anything. It has nothing to do with uh, Tandy Leather or any other leather store, so I can use it and do whatever I want with it, whether people like it or not. Uh, what I'm going to do is show you how I change that. As you can see, there's no way it would fit the Glock. I mean, the the Glock is as big as the holster without any room for stitching, sewing. It's not quite long enough. But I'm going to take a piece of pattern paper today and make that into a, a larger pattern for the Glock. So the first thing I'm going to do is start with a uh, roll of pattern paper, as you can see here. I'm going to cut out a square piece. I'm going to lay it out on the table. And I'm going to show you kind of step for step, but I'm going to be turning the camera off and on quite a bit because some of the processes will take 15, 20, 30 minutes and I, they're boring. I don't want you to just be sitting there looking at me cutting out a piece of leather. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut out a piece of uh, pattern paper square and then I'll turn the camera back on and kind of show you how I lay it out based on the smaller uh, holster that I've already got the pattern for. All right, I'm back, as you can see. I have cut a, uh, just a piece of pattern paper. And what I'm going to do, since I know that I, I want basically this shape, I'm going to start with that and then add to it um, based on the size of this gun versus this pattern. I can see I'm probably going to have to add at least an inch. Since this is a range holster and and uh, not going to be really for any kind of carry other than maybe just belt carry at the, um, like I say, at the range, going to and from. I won't really worry about if I have a little too much leather or if it's a little too wide or whatever because it's not going to have to be concealed. So I'd rather make it larger. Um, I talked to the customer about it. I'm not going to form it particularly tight to the gun. It's not going to look molded and boned and everything like a lot of them are. That way he can use it with several different models if he wants. I'm sure he'll be able to put an XD or a M and P or a Taurus 24/7, something like that in the holster as well, which will help at the range where he's just holstering a gun, firing, and then and then changing guns every so often. Uh, it'll give him a little value for his money. So what I'm going to do here real fast is I'm going to lay this out, and um, I'm going to um, to make the uh, like I said the outline a little bit bigger. One of the things I would suggest if you don't already do it when you're making a holster is that the first thing you do is take your paper that you cut out, this is just rough, and go in and completely square it. And the reason is that will give you a much better way to measure and reference. I used to not do that, try to draw in the middle. I always ended up with a holster that was just a little bit off on one side or the other. Uh, it can be fixed, I mean obviously in the trimming and the sanding, but yeah, I find it a lot easier now to just square the paper to start with. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the camera back off again for just a second. I'm going to lay the square on here and I'm actually going to go in and square my paper and start my basic, um, basic drawing with the outline of this holster. <clears throat> and then uh, after I do that, I'll uh, turn it back on and kind of show you what I'm going to do to increase the size of the holster. So I'll be back with you again in just a second. I'm going to square up this paper. All right, as you can see, I have, uh, hopefully you can see that, I've made the lines on the paper 
Uh, there really, it wasn't too far out. You can see I just got to trim it just a little bit here. Uh, I've got to find my scissors. I spend most of my time in this shop. It's not very big, but I spend most of my time looking for something rather than actually getting anything done. I would say that's got a lot to do with a, a poor organizational system rather than rather than the type of tools I buy because I don't think the tools hide from me. All right. That wasn't too hard. Now I have an actual square piece of paper to work with. The uh, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to lay this pattern out. Now keep in mind, uh, on this one, there's no coloring on either side. This one originally had a red outside. I don't know if you can see it. I think you can. And then a, a, a non-colored inside on the back. Um, that means that I'm going to have to consciously keep remembering which is the outside and inside so that I don't end up designing the holster with a, as a mirror image because that doesn't really work that well. Um, in theory, it, it, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. You just turn the leather upside down, but it's harder for me to think if I'm working on it backwards. So I'm going to go ahead and, and make this uh, cover. I'm going to trace this layout right now, and then uh, I'm going to uh, add the areas where I think that it needs to be added, and I'll show you again before I make the cut. I'll be right back. <laughs> 